let's see the construction and working of cone clutch it consists of female cone male cone uh, male cone has internal splines and the clutch shaft has external splines so they get engaged this is a pressure spring here our clutch pedal is placed and this is friction surface on both sides here and here this friction surface hold the male cone with the female cone and transmit the drive in normal condition the male cone is engaged with female cone and transmit power with the help of splines to the remaining transmission system so when driver presses the clutch pedal the spring got contracted so due to contraction of the spring the centrifugal force acts on this male cone and this male cone push outward and the female cone sep sorry male cone is separate from from female cone and the clutch is disengaged so when we release the clutch pedal again the spring got expanded acts pressure on male cone male cone get connected with female cone with the help of these friction surfaces and the power is transmitted to the transmission train with the help of this clutch shaft so this is the construction and working of cone clutch this is one of the rarely used type of clutch because of this cone angle if this angle is comes less than 20 degree then there is permanent engagement of the male cone is happens in the female cone this is very dangerous so it is rarely type rarely used type of clutch thank you